May we all now please rise to observe a minute silence. At the instance of President Muhammad Buhari, the ECOWAS leaders' summit commenced with a moment of silence in honor of the 73 Nigerian soldiers brutally massacred in yet another terrorist attack. The sub-region, without doubt, has been hard hit by such attacks which are intensified with every passing day, undermining efforts at achieving peace, progress and development. In the Sahel region, Boko Haram has shown resilience. Our region is strongly affected by terrorist attacks, which is gaining in intensity and in space. We remain committed to working on the EU leadership to make the community a region of peace, security and prosperity. The ECOWAS leaders therefore considered a special report on the action plan for regional security and its financing mechanism, the single currency program, as well as the political situation and presidential election in Guinea-Bissau. Let me now restate Nigeria's commitment to regional integration and stress the need to always channel our energy towards new strategies and initiatives that will accelerate the attainment of our regional aspirations for sustainable peace, security, stability, and inclusive economic growth. To achieve this, we must put our people at the heart of our policies and actions. In a goodwill message, the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres noted with admiration the West African leaders' commitment to peace, stability, democracy, and development. The United Nations is cognizant of ECOWAS as a true embodiment of multilateralism in West Africa, a shining example in Africa and beyond. UN is therefore committed to enhance our engagement with ECOWAS towards improving governance, including in the security sector. I applaud you, heads of states and governments, for your leadership to mobilize $1 billion to ensure the region's security. The African Development Bank will be ready to help ECOWAS on this fund. I am also discussing with the IMF Managing Director how we can come up with new financing instruments to address these exogenous security-related shocks. A communique is expected at the end of the summit aimed at advancing sub-regional integration as well as promoting socio-economic development. From the State House, Adam Musambu, NTA News.